Hey guys, my name is Scoby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download the Google Play Music desktop player on your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. This video is meant to be a showcase of this tool more than anything else, to be honest. I just thought it was really, really cool. I've been using YouTube Music for a while now. I quite like the Android app, but it's kind of sad that they don't really have an app for desktop. But this is a non-official app for desktop that you can use. And I really, really like some of the features. So I decided I would share it and do a quick tutorial on how to set everything up. So the first thing we need to do is come to this link. Links as always are in the description down below. And what we're going to be doing is coming to the center of this web page and we're going to be clicking the download latest version. In this case for me it's 4.6.1 but I'd recommend downloading whatever the version is for you. When we click this button it's going to come up and ask us what operating system we're on. In this case I'm using Windows currently so I'm going to download it for Windows. But of course you can also choose Mac or Linux if you use those operating systems. Once your download is done you want to move it to a location where you can find it easily. Currently I have mine on my desktop right here. And what we're going to be doing is double clicking to start the installation process for this application. So when you first launch the app, what it's going to show you is this little pop-up explaining some of the new features. In this case, all we're going to be doing is clicking let's go from here. And at this point, we're going to have to log into our Google account. Don't worry, it seems to be safe. I've logged in here a couple times and I haven't had anything too crazy happen to me. So all we need to do is click the login button and then enter our credentials and log into our Google account. Once you've logged into the account, you're going to be met with the basic UI. Overall, it's actually pretty nice to use. I'm going to be keeping it in this small window right now just so you can see everything in the full video. And as we look around, it's pretty straightforward. It's something similar to Spotify, but it gives a really nice overall vibe and feel. There's a couple of nice features in this app, including the EQ setting. It also works perfectly with the Windows media control. So if you've got media controls on your keyboard, you can control everything from that. And one really nice feature I like about this is the I'm feeling lucky option where we can click this and it'll play just a random song from YouTube. And it's just a really nice thing in case you're looking for something a little different just to see what it throws you. But other than that, it has all the basic features that you need. It has your music library, has your recent, it has top charts, new releases. You can browse the radio station and the search function works just like YouTube normally does. Overall, it's a really cool app. I'm really happy with this. I hope YouTube eventually comes out with their own desktop app to combat Spotify. I like YouTube Music a lot, but I feel like the lack of the desktop app is one of the really bad things for YouTube right now. Spotify's one is really good, but this is a good alternative for the moment if you're using YouTube Premium or if you just like YouTube Music in general. This is a really good option for you. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving the links down below to the creator of this app if you want to support him. It's a really, really cool app, and I'd really recommend doing it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.